Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with the truth, bringing dark into light. Channel message. Okay, you guys. So, uh, this is a channel message, and I may pull cards. I know I'm not sure if I'll pull cards and stuff like that. But I wanted to put this out there. I've heard this for several years, and I've heard it several months. And I heard it a lot today while I was driving today. Uh, is that the stars are falling. Okay, the stars are falling. The ones that we look up to. Okay, the stars are falling, the ones that we look up to. Not the stars in the sky, because when you hear stars are falling, you're thinking, okay, the stars are falling, falling from the sky, okay? Because we look up to them. Because what do we do? We look up in the sky, in the clouds, like up there. You know, we look up to the sky. And they're falling, like, you know, falling stars. No, that's not what I was hearing. We look up to them. We look up to influencers. We look up to celebrities, okay? These celebrities are falling. These stars that are A-list, B-list, C-list, whatever they are, they're, oh gosh, my phone keeps um, going off. Um, they're, their life is crumbling, okay? They're being exposed one by one, okay? And it starts off with a small elite to the bigger elite to the bigger celebrities and stuff like that. Again, like I said, the people we look up to, the people that we support, the people that we have, you know, listen to their music, watch their movies, watch their shows, okay, uh, buy their products. Because, you know, most of the celebrities or rapper singers, whatever they are, they sing, they rap, they act, and then they have, like, all these deals, you know, clothing deals, fashion line deals, uh, makeup lines that we support them. We support their perfumes and clones. A lot of the celebrities, especially the singers, you know, Cherry, no, no, they, we end up buying it. And I was one of them, okay, I was one of them. For years and years and years until it would have been 2020 I think is when I stopped supporting them actually like 2019 2020 is when I stopped supporting a lot of the celebrities and stuff buying their perfumes buying their makeup I used to buy Kylie Jenner's makeup all the time okay I bought all her new makeup I bought the Kim I bought the Kardashian stuff cherish I bought you know the stuff that we would see on TV the reality stars okay they're their, their stuff okay because we looked up to them we literally looked up to them. We, we we looked up them as role models and people we want to be like, okay? And so we were always supporting them. And we were putting all our our money into that stuff. Like, I was wasting all my money on that stuff. I was spending so much money. I was buying their clothes. When the Kardashians came out with their clothing line, I was one of the first ones that bought the stuff. I was one of the first persons that bought Kylie stuff. Well, they're one of the two, you know, the Kardashians, the Jenners, the Kim, Chloe, all the rest. Their life's falling apart. They're a star. They're a reality star. But their life's falling apart too. And it's not just them. It's all the other celebrities that are out there. Um, they're being exposed. Hollywood is being exposed. The entertainment world is being exposed. The elites, the powers, uh, the powerful people that have money. They're being exposed for all the stuff that they've been putting us through. Okay? They don't care about us. A lot. They're, they're, okay? I'm not going to say that. Not all of them. There are some genuine ones like Blake Sheldon. He does care about us. Okay? We got Jelly Roll. He cares about his fans. Uh... Who else was it? Um, Luke Combs, you know, he cares about his fans and stuff like that. There are people that truly do care about their fans, okay? There are. But if if we needed something from them, would they help us? No. Okay, they do care. But they're not the ones that are supporting us. They're not the ones that are helping us on our journey and stuff like that. And so, you know, we're putting all our money and all our energy and wasting a lot of time on this stuff. And I'm not trying to bash Taylor, you guys. I'm not trying to bash Taylor. But when her concerts are getting $900 a ticket... And yes, she's great, a story writer. She's a great singer. You know, she's great everything, storyteller, everything. Okay, she can do all kinds of things. And so she should get paid for what, you know what I mean, like what she brings to the table, and she does. You know what I mean? But like, why are we going out spending $900, $1,000 on a ticket that we don't remember the concert, okay? Why are we spending so much money on this stuff? You got Jelly Roll, when you go to this concert, you're paying 40 bucks for a concert ticket, you know? Like, you got these other ones, and it's just, and a lot of them are behind stuff. They're, they're, you know, it's about the money, like, their private jets, their lavish lifestyle, you know, their cars, their homes, their mansions. They have three, four mansions. That Do they really need three, four mansions? Do they need to have a home here, home there, home there, you know what I mean? Like, really. Uh, so, as I'm saying this, like, I've gained to, like, support small, business, small businesses and, like, in most influencers that are spiritual and stuff like that. A lot of people I support now are on Etsy, okay? I, I support people that are on YouTube and stuff. The people that care about me, that listen to me as well, and I listen to them. Like, it's a give and take, okay? Because the, a lot of those celebrities, they don't care. 
the Kardashians, they don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about anybody else, but their wealth, their money, okay? And being in limelight, being having clout, fame, okay? Success. That's what they care about. So they can get a brand new freaking car every year or every couple months. Go get their nails, their hair done. You know what I mean? Bleaching their hair every three days and all this stuff. A lot of us can't afford that. But the people that are like small businesses, they care more about the people that are supporting them. And so when I talk about like the stars are falling and the people that we look up to, more and more of these people are going to be losing things. Okay. They're losing their followers. They're losing their fans because people are waking up. They're coming out of the matrix. Okay. They're not being programmed to follow into something like that anymore. Uh, with this too, like, you know, you're seeing that a lot of these celebrities or these stars that we look up to have been in involved in scandals many many scandals sex scandals uh fraud scandals just so much okay the trafficking and stuff you know the androchrome okay you guys androchrome it's about the adrenal it's about a adrenaline gland that makes you look younger okay you can google it uh it's where the celebrities and a-list they they take it so they can actually inject it in their skin to make them look younger because it's of children like the adrenaline comb. you can google it more okay google more of it okay but what do they do? Does Kardashians have anything? No. Yeah, Kris Jenner, what, she she got a church now that most likely a satanic church, okay, for more money. More money. Did they ever talk about going to church when they were on the show? Did half these people talk about, you know, Christ, God, or any of this stuff on the reality shows and stuff like that? And that's where we have to look at. And more and more people are looking at this. And I'm, I'm also, like, hearing a lot more people are blocking them, like, blocking the energy and, like, watching, like, more people are guided to watch people on TikTok and YouTube, independent con or independent writers, independent singers, or, you know, songwriters. Oh, okay. Every time, every time. Okay, I have to change your guys, you guys. Um, hopefully I remember what I'm gonna say. I'm, gonna, I'm able to pause this phone, so just a minute, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, sorry guys, I had to do that, okay? I know that's on there, I'm not, like, I don't edit my stuff, you guys, I didn't say like that. Oh wait, so, you know, um, when we're talking about the stars and stuff like that, you know, it's not just, you know, actors or actresses either. It's other people that, you know, that have a main, like our mainstream, okay, that are in the public eye, okay? And this could be big, big influencers too. There's influencers that are influencing people that are no relevant to learning or growing as well, that are being exposed as well, okay? Like influence, like influencers that aren't teaching people. And allowing people to expand and grow they're being exposed to okay but it's more as the elite the celebrities and stuff that we've all looked up to for all these years for many many years from beginning of time since Hollywood okay and that's the thing is Hollywood is crumbling Hollywood Disney World Sony Entertainment okay the, the entertainment world it, it's crumbling a lot of people more people don't even want to watch it you're seeing less people watching TV and be on social media watching TikTok, YouTube, and all that stuff, learning videos and stuff like that. Yes, there's people out there watching movies and stuff like that. But it's the big mainstream of how they got up really fast, too. And a lot of these people that they're following are the people that sold their soul. Sold their soul to get where they are. One day they were a nobody, and then all of a sudden they are big, had million hits, million followers. They sold their soul. They got paid big money to do things, say things, to keep people following them. And there's more people like you, me, that are seeing this, seeing that they don't care about us. Yeah, you'll see them. You'll see them at the concerts. You'll see them at like out in public and sometimes signing things and stuff. And you know, some of these celebrities and these stars and A list and B list, you know, there are there's a lot of good ones. Okay, there's a lot of good ones, and they'll sign things and stuff like that. And but then they also do need their privacy too. You know, there are good ones that need their privacy. And like when people are running up to them and want like take a picture, take a picture, or you know, sign this, sign this. You know, that could be a little bit annoying as well. You know, you know, there's it can. It can, but what I'm talking about, it's the ones that are selling their soul, that are dark, that are part of secret societies, part of cults, covens, that are in it for the money, okay? They're not in it for the people. And you know a lot of actors, actresses, singer, rappers, that's, they want, they want clout, they want money, they want more success, more success, okay?
even if they talk about God or Jesus and stuff like that, and they're still, they're still falling. And a lot of the reality ones, Vanderpump Rules, got them. Kirish, why would you do that? Now you have no bubbles. Do you want to waste your bubbles? Close it. Now you just waste them. But, you know, it's us supporting them and more people are deciding to not support them. And, oh, that's another thing, too, is the people that work for these people, the nannies, the chefs, the, the Mommy, bodyguards, the security slippery. guards, okay, the whoever people, you know what I mean, like managers, too, agents, they are people that drink? work for them, I'll that work drink. under them. They're sick of their bullshit. They're sick of how rude and disrespectful they are and how scandalous they are. And these people are coming forward as well. That's why these stars and these leads, leads are actually falling from the sky is because of the fact that these people are seeing what their true colors are. That they're being fake in the public eye. Okay? Because that's not how they are in private, okay? And so now more of these nannies, managers, chefs... Especially the nannies, but especially when you got like the rich elite that don't even spend time with their kids. And like all you guys get on here and talk about how I'm not a good mom or that I don't spend time with my child. I'm with my child all the time. You see, I'm with her right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm with her all the time. You hear her in the background. Okay? These celebrities, these elites, they pay nannies to take care of their children. They don't even take their children to the park unless it's for public, for paparazzi, for fame. For paparazzi or the camera, you know what I mean? Like, to make them look good. You got some celebrities that are no longer actors or actors that are good parents. Like, here is a good one, too. Uh, what was her name? Oh, my gosh. She played in um, The Mask, I guess. You guys know who I'm talking about. She was with Justin Timberlake for a while, too. Oh, my gosh. She's so pretty. I can't think of her right name right now. It'll come to me. Okay? She wanted a family. She wanted to get away. She retired. Okay? She retired. She woke up. Like, she saw... She wanted to be a mom... To be a mom, she didn't want her child, to be, her kids to be in public eye. You know what I mean? Like, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. There's a lot of them. But a lot of these celebrities, A-list, are into drugs that are hidden. And then they get caught, DWI, doing this, part of these scandals, these parties and stuff like that. And who sees it all? Their workers, their nannies, their, their chefs, their bodyguards, their security cards. And they're waking up as well. They're waking up too, and they're exposing it. They're bringing truth. They're seeing that they worked for people that were corrupt and evil and dark and wicked and that were just in it for the money. You know? Are you ready to go to the other park? Yeah. Why are you getting money all over you? You want you? Then you hear a lot of this. You hear a lot of these people talk about how they're really rude and disrespectful, Mommy. and they're mean and they're bitches. But then on the camera, they're all kind and go in honest. the bigger park. You go to the bigger park. Don't hang up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. If you want to start walking over there? We can. Okay. That's a wall. And I'm not going out there saying don't support them all because there are a lot of good ones. There are a lot of good people too. Okay. There are a lot of people that have woken up and they are a star starseed light worker as well and you'll see, hear more of them talking about they're even talking about the stars falling and they'll they're they are also exposing them there's people that actually are like a trojan horse that go in to expose these celebrities these stars and it's not okay and it's not just them it's uh producers okay directors Assistant directors. It's all coming out. Look at JLo. Everyone thinks that she's awesome. Hey, she's not. You know, there's a lot of stuff that she's talking about. Like she said she was from this place and stuff like that. And like, and I don't know them personally. I do not know any of them personally. But feeling their energy, I can feel their energy from here. And you can tell that they're not good. Okay. And they're, they're fake. And I used to look up to these people. We used to look up to them. We look up to them, and I looked up to all these people, and there's even more than what I'm just saying, looking up to them, and I wanted to be like them. 
I want to be an actress. I want to be an actor. I want to be like that. I want to be skinny and and half the time, you guys half these half these people don't even they're not even that skinny. They're not even that. They're, it's all filter. It's all makeup. It's it's photoshopped. They have cellulite too, and if they don't, they're getting surgery. They're fake. They're getting surgery. They're getting all this stuff done to them. Okay, and I wanted to be like them. We wanted to be like them. Like you know what I mean? I want to look up to them and be like them. But for being a human being, we're not perfect. We we're born the way we are. And then look at their life falling apart. It's not just that. Look at what they what they have what's happened to them. They may they they may have some money still, but then psychological health issues. They don't have it. They're they're losing things little by little. They get sued all the time. If they didn't have the money to go get the plastic surgery done or get the Photoshop or have editing because they have editing half the time they do their stuff on their videos or whatever. They have all this editing to make it perfect. To make it perfect. And we want to be like them. I don't want to be like any of them anymore. Not them. I want to be my unique self. I want to be me. And I'm not perfect. I have a lazy eye. And that's why I got in here today. I do have makeup on. I was at a graduation. I have crooked teeth. I have a bigger face. You know, I'm not small. And I used to want to be like that. I used to want to be small, petite, no cellulite, big boobs, straight eyes, you know what I mean? Like perfect white teeth, perfect skin, all that stuff. And now I look at it like, why do I want to be like that? Why do I want to be so fake? I'm not fake. I'm, off I'm authentic. And I want to support people that are authentic as well. When all that Botox, when all that plastic surgery, when they get older, what's going to happen? It's going to just like... Shh. So yeah, there's a lot of people blocking these, these celebrities and stuff like that. And these stars. And yeah. it's going to continue happening. More people are going... There's more people that are doing things like me putting stuff on YouTube or TikTok or any social media platform. And doing things where people are drawn to and watch them because they're they're authentic they're their true self and people want to see true people want to see authenticity they want to see people's real story and not having any editing and anything fake and they're all fake you know so we'll see one by one more of them be exposed for their scandals their lies the betrayal who they truly are a cold-hearted bitch or a cold-hearted asshole. Okay. If okay, so I want to write that. If these celebrities ended up having nothing left, they wouldn't know what to do with their life, and they're not truly happy. They're not truly happy because everything that they're happy about has to be material. Has to be this new, this new, everything new. So they put a front on. There was something else I was gonna say about this too. Uh, what was it? Um, something's it's like here, but it's not here. Like you know what I mean? Like. What If you didn't have money, okay, if you didn't have money, you won't be able to be in their group. If you didn't have some kind of inside or something that they needed or wanted, you won't be able to be in their group or their circle, their inner circle. They need the next up. They need that. They need more and more and more. And that's what's being exposed is they want all this stuff. It's all about fame, power. And you're going to be, okay, and you're going to be seeing that a lot of these people as well are involved in, you know, trafficking, covering stories up, covering things up, and a lot of sex scandals, a lot. And look at how some of them get up there. They get up because, what, they have a sex tape that got aired out, got leaked intentionally. You think it was uh, an accident? No, it was intentionally. Because they wanted fame, they wanted more. 
And you guys don't, some of you guys don't have to believe me. Some of you guys, you guys can think that they're perfect and they're kind and loving and caring and stuff. But to, if you were at a park with them right now and they were like a child with their child, they probably wouldn't even talk to you. They're too stuck up. They probably wouldn't even talk to you. And they probably have a lot of posse around them and bodyguards around them that you couldn't go around like. If a celebrity showed up right at this park right now with their kid, most likely they wouldn't even talk. So, I really do hope this helps. I'm going to take her over to the other park. Okay, I'm ready to go to the other park. So, I hope this helps, guys. Just know that the stars are falling out of the sky, the ones we look up to. There'll be a new generation. Okay, there'll, there'll, there'll be. There'll be a new generation. Okay, there'll be a new generation, too. New ones coming in that are actually going to be kind, loving, caring. You know, the system's crumbling. The stuff, the, the, oh, the stuff's crumbling. Hollywood's crumbling. Entertainment world's coming down. The system's changing. Be them. So, I love you guys. I hope this helps. Love, peace, light, heal, namaste.